Now surprisingly, I actually encountered the same issue with the Asus Rampage 4 Extreme what I've encountered with the newest EVGA motherboards. So currently I'm flashing uh, an older BIOS to the Rampage 4 Extreme as on this board there's the uh, tr transformation from .rom files to .cap files and if you have uh, two old BIOS if you want to flash like a cap BIOS you need to do or the easiest way is to use the ASUS uh, BIOS flashback utility or vice versa. So if you have two new BIOS you always have to use the BIOS flashback feature on the motherboard to uh, get an old enough BIOS flashed back to the motherboard. And when I tried with a very new USB 3.0 uh, USB stick, it doesn't work. It just rejects the uh, process very quickly, like in a few seconds. But when I'm actually using a very old USB 2.0 USB stick, it seems to work fine. So that's my general rule for all of you guys. If you want to use or if, if or when you use the BIOS flashback utilities on all of these motherboards pretty much from different vendors, you have better success rate if you use an old USB 2.0 based USB stick. That's my advice for all of you guys. So definitely use these tips if you have any issues with the BIOS flashback uh, process on any motherboard from any vendor whatsoever.